everybody, welcome to The Pain Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Wednesday host. And this week we are talking about philosophy as religious text. Now, I apologize, I'm having allergy issues. Um, there's a little bit of a lead into the question, so I will put the full message down below as per usual. And I'll read a little bit of the lead in and then the question and then answer it. So, the texts of Greek intellectuals like Plato, Homer, Aristotle, etc. are classified as philosophy books, but I consider them religious, pagan religious texts or books. Would you also consider such rich resources, sources <laughs> of pagan theology, religious books too? And do you incorporate any of their content into your beliefs? I just did a video a couple weeks ago on my personal channel. Um, I'm doing a challenge 52 videos in 52 weeks and it it goes over this but it goes over mythology now mythology and philosophy I feel the same about so I'm just gonna kind of go over what I did in that video so let's take a look at what philosophy is the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge reality and existence study of theoretical basis of a particular branch of knowledge Okay, so my, this is my personal um, belief on pretty much anything that I read. Mythology, philosophy, history, whatever. Everything written is man's interpretation of that subject. Religious texts, philosophy, mythology is man's interpretation of those ideologies. With religious texts and mythologies and some philosophies, it's their man's way of interpreting, interpreting what this world is all about. What's after it? What's the purpose? So given that it's man's interpretation and that the gods or a god or source or however you can you know call the divine has not given us the information and said hey this is how it all is it's not been laid out for us everything we do we go on faith we go on how we feel so man's interpretation or a man's interpretation of one subject is a guideline. It's really not something that I look at as in stone, concrete definition of this. Um, so philosophy, it's an interpretation. That, however, does not mean that it's not valid and legitimate as a belief. If you take mythology, history, philosophy, whatever, science, whatever it is, if you take it and it connects to you and resonates with you on a cellular level of your beliefs and you just innately understand it, you connect with it, it transforms and becomes very organic and very t tangible. It can become a big part of your practice and it can be tenets of your practice. So. Do, would you consider such rich sources as pagan theology, religious books too? Yes, I would. Because I think anything can be a religious, religious text. If you find spirituality in something, it's religious text. Just by the pure uh, connection you have to it on that spiritual level. And that's just my opinion. Now... Do I incorporate any into my practice? Yes, I do. There are a lot of religious leaders from the past and now that are also philosophers and have incredible and, and, and very deep knowledge of, of why we're here or what their interpretation is why, why we're here and what we should do while we're here and what's after this. And I connect very deeply with their 
philosophies. <clears throat> so when I hear something about, let's take for instance um, the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama wrote a book, well he's written lots of books, but there's one that I was trying to read but it was scientifically way over my head. It's called Universe in a Single Atom. Now I did pick some stuff out of it that I really could understand and one of the things that really 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 connected to me was that in Buddhism sacred text is just sacred text but it does not but your personal experience supersedes that your personal um, experience on this planet with people and in, in, in events supersedes sacred text to me, that connected with me so deeply because I really feel that that is, if every religion felt that way, we would, our, our planet would be in a lot better shape. So, take, taking that, that thought process of Buddhism, yes, I believe that and I, and I, and I believe it deeply. So I take that belief and it becomes part of my practice. So even stuff that I write, rituals and spells that I write, even if it's worked, okay, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll work again. Maybe things have changed. So I will, if I have different experiences, I will change my spell crafting or what have you to evolve with my experience. Because even that, as sacred text, is not really sacred text. It's just, um, I guess it's sacred text to me, but it doesn't supersede my experience in life. So, yes, in a long roundabout way, yes, I, I do think that you can use um, philosophy books as religious text, pagan t religious text. And yes, I do incorporate um, a lot of different uh, philosophies into my personal practice. Everything is theoretical. Everything is. Some people might disagree, but it is theoretical. We just don't know. So we just have to feel the connection. And if you feel connected to philosophy, if you feel connected to mythology, if you feel connected to science, and it keeps you in that spiritual place, then it is religious. So I hope that helped and I, I hope I didn't ramble on too much. Like I said, I'm getting over a migraine and it, it kind of makes my thinking a little wonky. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Love the likes if you want to like and until the week after next, because next week is sub the week, so I will see you guys then. Have a great rest of the week and blessed be. Bye!